Yo, welcome to Hustle Television, man. I'm here with some ex exclusive, exclusive guys right here, man. I mean, pop culture has minimized a lot of music, but now we're back to maximize pop culture with my man Matt Forger, my man Barry. You know, pop culture is everything, but but you got to go back to the foundation of this gentleman right here. How you doing? Very good, very good, Chuck. Great to be here. How you doing? I am doing fantastic. Thanks. Now, like when it comes to music, you guys have done some great music. You guys work with the best of the best. Um, how do you see working with the best and putting out great content and music for today? Well, I, I think having the chance to work with really accomplished individuals, really talented individuals, kind of shows you where the bar is. And, and when you're able to work in the studio with people, you get to see not just the how they do things, not just the studio tricks or the studio techniques, you know, but you also see a, a bigger picture of uh, what's the approach, you know, what's the, what's the mental approach to the big picture of, of having success because it's, it's built around the music right. and the music is the core, but there's a lot to condition yourself to do the very best musically and then have surrounding that all the support stuff to take that uh, music out in the world. Man, that's that's awesome. Um, you work with some of the greats out there, you know, Michael Jackson, um, Bruce Springsteen, Paul McCartney. Now, how would you bridge that into today's culture with the youngsters like Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, and all the rest of the group that's really popping right now on the mainstream billboard? How would you work with them? Well, working with anyone to me, it's about the song. Uh, it's it's yes, the art the artist. As, as an entity is, is, is a component of that because you have the artist's image and his persona. Mm -hmm. But to me, it comes down to the music. Uh, does the music engage the audience? And to me, it's about what I call emotional honesty. For an artist to, to uh, write and perform, uh, if, if they are the writer, if they're just the performer, if they're a collaborator in, in some fashion, uh, if, if the music, if it's the right song for the artist, whether or not the artist has written it or not, if it's got that emotional honesty that rings true, that's what, that's what people sense. It's about what they really feel. I mean, they can hear, they can listen to the music, but when they feel the music, uh, you, you're getting right through. You, you yeah. know, you're, you're, you're touching the person's soul. Gotcha. Now, collectively, you guys have put, put together great music around the country and around the world. Now, when it comes to Barry, so what are you guys working on right now? Well, we're working on uh, my uh, band project, which okay. is Invisible Poet Kings. Okay. And um, <clears throat> basically what we're doing is... Uh, I got together with Matt almost two years ago now, I think. Over two years. Over two years? Yeah. Uh, at the advice of some business people, um, I made some guitar vocal demos of some new stuff. I, I had some solo albums out, and they were doing, they were doing okay. okay. Uh, and then uh, we decided we wanted to branch out, put the band back together. Shh, quiet. We wanted, okay, keep talking. <laughs> we wanted to put the band back together, which I did, and uh, I played Matt a bunch of songs, and. Uh, I connected in the way that he just explained. He he really related to the songs, and we talked about, hey, could we work together and maybe put this music out? And that's yeah, that's what we decided to do. And we've been working on a song by song basis. We keep well, how many songs we got now? Seven or eight or so? Uh, we got about uh, eight or nine, uh, either completed or in the in the can. With videos, I mean, he's now become a video director. What? <laughs> Because he's doing, like, he's, he's kind of... Uh, yeah. Out of necessity. Yeah. Well, remember when he said in the beginning, he was talking, I don't think we were talking on camera, we were talking off camera, mm -hmm. uh, about how he's a facilitator. Right. And, and he really does, uh, uh, he is that phrase. Okay. I mean, he looks at the whole picture of what we're doing, mm -hmm. and wherever there's a, something that he sees that needs strengthening, yeah. whether it's musically, or whether it's artistically, or whether it's video-wise, he facilitates nice. and makes that happen. Awesome. You know, and it started very early on when we were, just when we started the first song we recorded, we were using piano samples. Uh, I was doing piano vocal. Yeah. And I just happened to mention him, I just said, ah, oh, man, I wish I had a I wish I had a really grand, good grand piano to do this song on. So two days later, he calls me and goes, um, would Studio B at Westlake Audio uh, work for you? There you go, there <laughs> you go. And then, so there we were. So that's, that was one of the first examples of being a facilitator. 
That's what I'm talking about. He finds a way to make things happen. And in doing that, he takes the whole project and lifts it to a much higher level than it would be uh, without him. Okay, now when it comes to studios, do you guys prefer Westlake Studios? Do you prefer home studios? What would be your choice of studios? Well, I, I think you always have kind of like an ideal dream situation. Wow, if we only could. But the reality is uh, you work wherever it is that you have available to you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's, it, to, to me, it's, it's not about having a particular studio or a particular piece of equipment as much as it's about what the people bring to it. It's, it's like being a great musician. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, having that ability, uh, you can have any instruments put in front of you right. and, and you can make it sound wonderful. So, you know, it's adaptive. Uh, we use Barry's studio, we use my studio, we use uh, another studio, uh, uh, Stage One on Lamona. Uh, there's a tracking room there uh, that we work at. There's Westlake. And, and we can jump in anywhere uh, John for a Maddox purpose. John Maddox studio or something, too. That's right. Uh, John Maddox is another uh, person. And, and what it's about is really about that collaborative effort. And right. th this is what Barry was talking about, you know, as working together. It's, it's truly trying to go for something collaborative gotcha. because when you when you've got good team members mm -hmm. you know you're, you're elevating everyone's level by contributing your best in your area uh, that, that your expertise is in and then someone else gets to excel in their area of expertise the combined effort is you get something stronger in the end. You and, get something better. And that's better. not only pertains artistically; it pertains yes. business-wise too. Mm -hmm. You can you have you apply that same philosophy and bringing in a team of people business-wise that can help do the same thing. Especially where you you find people who are stronger in one attribute right. than somebody else. Mm -hmm. And when you bring all these other people in, each having their own strengths, again, it's a collaborative effort. So you have to do both collaborative artistically and collaborative business-wise right. as an independent artist. Exactly, exactly. You know, as an independent artist, it's real important to say that because, you know, uh, it's a whole different ball game when you're signed to a major label. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Now, do we have some music from you guys? Now, I know you guys got tons of music. I want to hear it. I heard about it, but now I want to hear it. Well, no yeah. problem there. I think maybe we could head to the studio and we could uh, play something. There it is. Okay. Let's go. 